Hey, get back here. So, team of the year is here. We're getting some free cards, getting some new content, a ton of it. I'm gonna go through all the content, how to get the free one. We're gonna go through rerolls, some math on that stuff, and uh, we're streaming tomorrow morning at 10:30 a.m. Eastern. So. We're going to try and dominate. It looks like there are some pretty good ways of making some coins in here. But, of course, we won't know 100% until we get to the day of. So, check out that stream. It should be a good time. Let's go through the cards first before we get into the sets and uh, all the free stuff breakdown. Russell Wilson, you know, his last card was good. The only downside of it had a little bit lower throwing power than you'd like to see. So, 92. Wait, wait. What, what shoulder is that? I don't know. That one. 92 throw power. Duck. Duck for the rest of his stats. Um, let's just go back. You can see it from here. I think. 92 throw power is perfectly fine. You can power him up, get the extra, you know, throw power from uh, go deep, get him up to 95, which is pretty good. You know, maybe not perfect, but it will be able to throw some cover three beaters, which is really what you want on a throw power. The nice zip on him. Escape artist, dashing dead eye. I believe he gets playmaker too. So an all around God tier quarterback, something that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. Might be a little pain to play against, but you know, if people are passing, I think the game is in a good spot. Versus what we normally face. Tariq Cohen. Oh, actually, I should go through what my predictions were uh, one by one. So you guys can see me as I brag on a lot of being correct on a lot of these things. All right, so notepad. I got Russell Wilson correct. Tariq Cohen. Actually, I got this one wrong. So I'm only... All right, fine. We're not perfect. We ain't great. We ain't got nothing but uh, wrong things. So, we got another one left, honey. 92 speed is, is too terribly slow, sadly. Um, no, that's not going to work. I'm just going to do it like this. 92 speed kind of kind of feels bad man uh, because really with a lot of backs you got, we got Bo Jackson at basically uh, 99 speed so not being able to get up so high uh, a good catching back a good change of pace guy I don't think he's gonna be very expensive we'll go through why we don't think they're gonna be too expensive in a little bit Nick Chubb has ended up being our team of the year running back I don't know why the Browns got two players in team of the year but you know we know that the people at EA like the Browns for some weird reason so they tend to get better cards than they really should Nick Chubb did not deserve this over uh, Derrick Henry, maybe they have a chance of getting a Super Bowl Derrick Henry, which is why they didn't go with him, which I can see why then Nick Chubb did have a good year. So, solid card overall, 95 trucking, 94 break tackle. Maybe I should just, here, let's just go over here for this thing. Um, good card overall though, lower elusiveness than you want. I don't know what his juking is going to be, and that's kind of, uh, necessary. Patrick Ricard, big, thick boy at fullback, would be good for dives, had a very good year this year, lead block at 98. Absolutely amazing. The only thing that's a worrisome about him is 75 speed for getting outside on those stretches. So maybe a little problem for the meta at the moment, but absolutely on dives is going to be a beast, a tank. We'll see what his trucking comes out to be. Michael Thomas sadly only got 90 speed. Very, very sad boy indeed because, you know, Madden is based solely on speed or almost 100% on speed. Really nice to catch the traffic. 6 foot 3 is really nice. Might be able to box out some dudes, hang on to the stuff you wouldn't expect. Uh, but man... Really wish he was a couple ticks faster. Uh, Miko Hardman, like, talk about, you know, a couple ticks faster. 97 speed stock at 5'10". You know, a little shorter than you'd like to see. Especially since we have Randy Moss up there, 99 right now. I got him a 99 on my uh, 49ers Steelers theme team. So, 97 speed, no power up, but, you know, John Madden can kick it to one, especially if you have a KC team, easily up to 99. But his route runnings are all over 90, which is amazing. So, Miko, a very, very solid card. Might not be too expensive. On to the other wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, 92 speed at 6'1", with, again, good route running over 90, and can catch and hold on to the ball a little bit better in traffic than uh, Miko. So, really kind of like two more possession-type receivers, route runners, uh, in DeAndre and uh, Michael Thomas. While that plays, like, they're phenomenal IRL. In Mutt, sadly, sorry. In Mutt, sadly, Moss and T.O., are still, I think, better than them. But I think they will play well. DeAndre played well for me earlier this year, and everybody loved Michael Thomas earlier in the year. I never actually used his, his uh, solo card earlier in the year. George Kittle at tight end. Looks great. 88 speed for tight end. You know, you can come that up to low 90s. Um, Going to fit and slide right in there on the 49ers. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more on this card than we ended up seeing. Um, but there it is. Oh, I'll link this imager in the description, of course, so you can take a look at it. Jason Peters. I know a lot of people give me crap for... So, uh, guessing Jason Peters here at left tackle. But we ended up getting him. We got Kittle. Godwin got a card, too. I don't know why I didn't go over Godwin. Wait, wait, wait where, where's the Godwin card? Did I accidentally not screenshot Godwin and upload it? Or did I just miss just put him in the wrong order? Godwin's getting a card. I don't know why I don't I don't know why I don't have it. I maybe I maybe messed up. Let me look for it. Um in this thing while I go over my Oh, there it is. So I did mess it up. So Godwin's out of order, but Godwin got a card too. 
So we guessed him, right? We guessed uh, Russell, Tariq, Thomas, Godwin, Kittle, Peters, correct. All right, go back to it. All right, let me scroll back up. So we were at Thomas, Hardman, Kittle, Peters. Betonio got it over, over Quentin Nelson? Again, I have no idea how the Brown guy won this. Whatever. I, I should have factored in the Brown love, right? Oh, here's the funny thing. Like, look at his pass block. 98. I guess I zoomed in a little bit. You guys don't need me to zoom it in. 98 pass block. The important stat that matters, EA still functionally doesn't know this, is pass block power and pass block finesse. Pass block doesn't really do it. It technically does something, but it, it only matters for double teams. If you're double teaming a guy, then the pass block comes with a factor for both the guys. But one-on-one, -on -one, it's this and this. It's sad that they don't average out to 98. Weird, but you know what? Having low run block power does not mean anything, though. That's not a big deal. Just that it's a 90 run block. All right, so Jensen. Did I guess Jensen? No, I guess Ben Jones. So I was off on Ryan Jensen, too. I thought the offensive alignment would be a little bit different. Um, so solid card. Again, the pass block power and finesse lower than the pass block, which is sad. Makes this card worse performing than it is. Uh, or it looks like. Run block, 91. Okay. Zat Martin, this is the one I got correct. 96 run block. Great. These are, this is weird because he actually averages out. He actually averages out. But uh, I think it's a very solid Zach Martin card. Brandon Smith, kind of a, a question mark. I had Mitchell Schwartz here. But uh, Brandon Smith, not a bad choice. Uh, pass blocking, solid stats. Uh, run blocking, okay too. Left end, Calais Campbell. I guess uh, I guessed wrong here too. Calais got it. I, didn't, I thought because his last card was like a 94, right? He had like a most feared, a high overall most feared that he wouldn't get upgraded, but he did. He got up to the 96. Maybe it was a 93 overall. So he went to a 96, which is good. High block shed, got all of that. You can easily get that to 99 block shed for Calais. A little slower than you like to see. Geno Atkins, a little bit lower block shed than you like to see. Geno, is that one I got right? Dang, how did I get Geno Atkins right? I, I did Fletcher Cox. Um, so sad boy right there. Grady Jarrett, I also got him wrong. Yeah, I didn't do so well in the defensive line, guys, eh? I did get Aaron Donald, right? But uh, Grady Jarrett, block shed 95. Like that. Like it, like it, like it a lot. Everson Griffin got the right end spot. Right end, I took Aaron Donald. Like, there are two right ends. I didn't think they do more than one. Um, but he's a specialist. So he is the rush defensive end specialist position. Actually, I put I put Joey Bosa for that. So they want Everson Griffin. 84 speed is very nice. Power moves. Block shed. A little lower than you like to see, but he's, a, he's like a third down guy. Aaron Donald is absolutely god tier. Pretty easily get him up to high 90s for power move and block shed. Finesse is actually solid too. Aaron Donald, great freaking card. Zadarius Smith, I guessed uh, Shaquille Barrett because he did really well. Uh, but Zadarius Smith not getting snubbed today, unlike during the uh, Pro Bowl. I think that he had the thing written on his shirt for all pro. Uh, very good, very good player this year for the Packers. 96 power move, 84 speed. A very nice combo for your team Chandler Jones this is one that I also got right I actually got this one right weirdly uh I guess I guess him for right outside linebacker a lot of sacks your power move 95 I feel like his power move should be like 99 I mean with the years that some of these guys had they should have maxed them max the motherfuckers out Luke Keekley we saw this earlier I guess Bobby Wagner because it's always seemed to be Bobby Wagner but not a bad middle linebacker a little bit slower than you like to see but they did boost his speed more than we thought based off his earlier cards so that's good to see. He is going to be relevant at middle linebacker. Corey Littleton is the sub-package linebacker. I guess it was going to be Levante David, as he had a better year than Littleton, according to PFF. So they gave it to Littleton, though. Um, good card, bad hit power, no enforcer. Not the greatest speed, but 6 for 3 is pretty solid. Godwin here is when we went over. Casey Hayward, I got this one correct. 91 speed is a little bit slower than you'd like to see, but he has all over 90s for those uh, man and zones. Beautiful right there. Agility, too. Uh, I think Minka is a very solid... Oh, what, did I not do the other corner? Yeah. So the other corner is Tredavious White, 94 speed. This is this is great. Amazing card. Tredavious White's way better. Like, this is going to be one of the top cornerbacks in the game. Tredavious White is. Really, he deserved it this year, too. I also guessed him correct. Uh, Jamal Adams and, and uh, Minka are both ones I got correct also. So I got the DBs 100% correct. Uh, but did they, they didn't have a slot DB this year, though. So Minka... He gets Enforcer, I believe, once he gets 90 hit power. So power him up. He has Enforcer. That might that might take his tackle and make it irrelevant if he could just click off for Enforcer tackles. 
So Minka would be probably pretty nice. Jamal, 98 hit power. Another enforcer added to the squad, 92 speed. A little bit slower than Minka, but not too much. Uh, with only 91 acceleration versus 96, and then 93 speed versus 92. Of course, we'll have to see what their agility ends up being. Trezway got the punter with 96 kick power, and Zane Gonzalez, 97 kick power. All right, down to the actual, um, whatchamacallit, in-game in -game items. Let me, let me tighten this up a little bit. All right, here's where we're going to get in-game. Play Team of the Year challenges to earn a nat 95 to 97 overall Team of the Year player. So free 97 to 90, 95 to 97 card just by doing some solos. You also will have the free auctionable Team of the Year card if you did the Team of the Week solos through the year. You only need 15 Teams of the Week, so if you missed one or two, not a big deal. Um, here are Play Team of the Year challenges. Here are some of the Team of the Year missions that you can go through that you're going to kind of see in-game. Um, nothing really too descriptive on this page, of course. And then you have the Team of the Year Nat team of the year fantasy pack that you will get to choose uh, uh after doing these solos for only 100 100 stars is what you'll need you get 5,000 coins for doing 150 stars you guys can see that that's okay jamal adams this is one of the nats that you can choose off of uh doing those team of the year player fantasy pack that's from doing the solos so you get to choose it it gives you three choices from a specialist a defense and an offense so yeah it's luckily it's not just one you'll roll like a 95 really sad for a specialist, you'll have a pretty good chance of getting high overall. A card that's going to really help your team out for that uh, for these solos and finishing them. The, the the solo players will quick sell for a quarter of their training, only eighty seven twenty five. But here are the sets that you can do: Team of the Year offense. You can exchange an eighty seven to eighty eight, one eighty nine to ninety, two ninety one to ninety two overalls, and one ninety three ninety four overall player during a random Team of the Year offensive player. So a pretty good set indeed. Um, the eighty seven eighty eight to eighty nine to ninety, nice little exchanges. The expensiveness here, okay, let's go to coins for training. So you need a 93, which is going for about 150, all right? You'll need two 91s, I believe is what we saw, right? Two 91s, 193, 93 at 150, a 91, 80, 160, so you're sitting at like 300K. And then you'll need an 89 and an 87. 89 for 45, 87 for 25. So another 70K. 70, so that's like 370 at current market prices. Not bad. 370 for a team of the year card. Not bad indeed. You can do the gingerbread men sets too. You grind out the gingerbread men for the 91s for the Adrian Petersons. That's not bad either. Because <coughs> gingerbread men, it's two. It's two of these, so 18K for an Adrian Peterson. So it's two of these, so 20K. So each Adrian Peterson 60k. So you can knock off 40k off that price. So yes. The the what we're looking at for the for the prospective team of the year offense and team of the year defense about 350ish for those. Just doing it through that method. All right, specialist is a little cheaper with 387s, 189 and 291 and 92 overall players. So specialist might be pretty nice too. Team of the Year token exchange, you could do, that's your, uh, those are your all your tokens that you got for doing all the Team of the Week challenges. You see those? And then uh, Team of the Year fantasy pack. This is from doing, this is from doing this. It is auctionable. Remember, like I said earlier, this stuff is auctionable by doing those Team of the Week challenges. So that's kind of neat for people that did that, paid attention all year. I don't like all your solos without the chance to make them up later. I hate that shit where they put us like rats on a wheel. They're like, oh, just do it. Just do it. We're not going to tell you what it's for. You're like, it's probably for Team of the Year card. But uh, we're not going to give you a chance. It's like it's mobile game mechanics that makes us log in frequently. It's not actual fun. It's not actual gameplay. All right. For the Team of the Year player fantasy um, for 95 to 97, this is for Team of the Week cards. 380 to 84s, 585 to 88s, and 589 to 93 overall Team of the Week players. For your choice. For your random. So 589 Team of the Week players, depending on how much they go for, 89s times 5. Um, 250 plus like that. Uh, it's about the same price. About the same price as it would be for the right regular ones. Maybe a little different. So the team of the year, we also have re-rolls coming. 39,000 training for that. For one re-roll. 39,000 training is more than what a 96 quick sells for. So we can add 420 plus 5,068. So that's like 480k. No, not even. We'll say like 470, 460. The sets look like a better value than the re-rolls. The re-rolls are always more fun because they're quicker. But it does look like the sets are going to provide you more value than, than getting all this training. Unless training crashes. 
Unless training goes down to under 10, then these things might be worth it. So we also get that if you want to do Nat Team of the Year cards, you can do uh, this one. I think those Nat ones from here will sell for half price instead of quarter price like they are from the solos. And then you can do the specialist pack down here for 28,000 training. So 28,000 training for from what, like a 95 to 96? That might not be too bad. That might be pretty valuable, actually. Right? Specialists are 95 to 96. Because we have specialist. Do we have a 96 overall specialist? Yeah, we got 95 for card specialist. Tariq's a 95. Could have swore. Was Godwin a 96 specialist? The one that I misplaced? Yeah. Godwin's a 96. He's a specialist. Exactly as predicted. So 25,000 for 95, 34,000 for 96, you reroll. Whoops, wrong one. I don't mind that one bit. 28k. Huh, maybe that maybe that'll work out for us. I don't know. To be to be determined. And then uh here's the team of the year offensive pack that you get from those rerolls from those sets. So I think there's a little bit to be made tomorrow. You know, before the market settles down, I think we can make some sets and do some good stuff. So there you go. The tip tonight, try and put together some cheap 91s, 93, 94, 89, 87s. 87. Not a bad set. All right, but that's it for team of the year. Do the solos, you get a free one. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.